Hello everybody and welcome back to The Catalyst where we break down and highlight some bullish trends, sentiment and news of the markets. Today we have another AMP video. Be sure that if you guys like these videos, you throw up a thumbs up, throw a comment uh, or even subscribe if you feel so inclined. Uh, also, um, if you have other crypto coins that you would like me to dive into or kind of do some like reporting on, uh, feel free to drop that in the comments. Altcoins are probably best because uh, everyone already covered Bitcoin, Ethereum. Obviously, I'll do some of those in the future. Um, but what I don't want is to be strictly an AMP channel. I'd love to uh, explore some other coins uh, that you guys have that maybe I'm not aware of just yet. Uh, so I'd love to kind of dive into some of those. So as you see, we're on the AMP uh, subreddit once again. And uh, Zoomstone uh, posted a interesting little comment about some the gk software and some high v news um so first let's dive in so basically uh, we have high v here they are uh deploying a new technology for their payment methods uh so they'll be able to support all of the different ways that their customers can make payments so self-checkout uh, fuel curbside pickup etc uh, they have 280 stores in eight of the Midwestern states, uh, which is amazing. And they are applying the GK software uh, to handle all of their flexible and scalable services uh, to their customers. Their idea is frictionless checkout, um, which is obviously a huge way that uh, crypto can be uh, applied uh, to transactions uh, and they're able to use their integrated platform uh, to support all of their checkout points like I said before uh, it allows the retailers to add convenience to all of these methods that people can pay and provide some alternative payouts um, which is kind of hinting at crypto here uh, they have their so POS here is not proof of stake it's point of sale uh, so they have point of sales from mobile kiosks for card qsr and uh, other payment methods um, the important thing to note is hyvee has sales of 11 billion annually and 85,000 employees so they're just kind of your you know classic retailer um, but let's see here uh, what we have with the gk software so for the GK software, they actually just partnered with Flexa to support their digital currency payments. Uh, so GK is leading in the payment processing applications, and it accepts dozens of uh, cryptocurrencies as well as you know other you know digital fiats. Um, and it's uh, the whole point is making it fraud-proof way uh, to make payments. Obviously, Flexa and the Lightning Network are ways to kind of uh, strengthen that quite a bit uh, and allow AMP and Flexa to manage these transactions uh, with some intense level of security obviously because their focus is fraud proof while also giving a large variety of uh, ways that these transactions can be made uh, with different types of cryptocurrencies. They had an important note where they did I guess some sort of study uh, and 50 57 percent of consumers said they would choose where to shop based on where they could spend their money um, meaning having other options of you know digital currency being accepted at different stores uh, which makes a lot of sense a lot of people now would love to make the transaction i believe uh you know and make the transition so that you know if you had to choose between walmart and target but walmart was accepting crypto and target was not if you were a crypto inclined, you would probably go to Walmart instead to make some purchases of, you know, similar items. So just kind of keep that in mind. So most people are kind of in that mindset. So the Flexa network is going to allow them to accept dozens of cryptocurrencies. It is going to kind of strengthen their in-store and online acceptance of cryptocurrencies. Uh, it helps pr protect them from fraud or loss because of um, the collateral system that AMP provides. Um, it also is going to let digital currency payments uh with no overhead 
uh, you know, obviously typical crypto transactions have, you know, some gas fees and whatnot. So this is going to help mitigate some of that. Uh, and then it'll allow them to settle in US dollars or digital currencies of their choice. So as a business owner, they could now, you know, any company implying, uh, employing the GK software could now say, okay, we want to get paid in Bitcoin. Someone could come and pay in Litecoin, Ethereum, or Doge, or whatever the other accepted cryptos are, but they can say, nope, we're, we're a Bitcoin company now, and that's how we are taking revenue, which is an amazing way to get paid, obviously, and if I had the choice to, I would love to get paid in Bitcoin, uh, so it'd be really cool as a company to make the same kind of decisions. Um, and then it just kind of goes into here, breaking down, uh, you know, how uh, it's actually Trevor... Uh, who said that it's the fastest, most fraud-proof way for payments in the network in the world. And Flux is committed to helping merchants give the customers the freedom to pay how they want. Um, I think another uh, point to make off of that is getting paid how you want as the uh, provider to the customer, which is really cool as well. So not only can the customer pay how they want, you get paid how you want, uh, as the recipient or, you know, the person making the sale or the company or whatever. Um, so it really bridges the gap between, you know, how you get paid and what you get paid with and your choice in there. Uh, and then just a little note about GK. Uh, they are recognized as a leader in omni-channel retail. That's kind of like a little buzzword for them saying that they kind of make, you know, acceptance to all forms of payment and can distribute it in different ways as well. So they offer a single global software platform for all retail formats and touch points. So let's look at GK a bit and see where these apply. Um, so this is actually on the GK software website. So you guys are welcome to go check that out for yourselves. So they have a category of grocery, general merchandise, specialty and sale. You'll see the note up here in the top left. Um, mass merchandise. So this is big box retailers hospitality so they have you know this is great for hospitality for the intense level security for things fashion department stores and convenience and fuel so obviously that just pretty much covers the entire way that you can be a consumer you know that hit every major category from food to shopping to you know amenities and necessities like gas this is huge news again always um as the utility goes up for the Flexa network, um, our price should continue to go up as well. And the use case uh, just gets stronger and stronger. Again, as I always say, this is a slow burn. This is not something that's going to happen overnight. AMP is on track to be very successful uh, and a very dominant leader, uh, at least in its niche of the uh, you know crypto market and the retail industry. It's going to take some time, so just be patient um, and don't, you know, don't FOMO in or FOMO out of anything. Uh, just be patient and recognize where it's going and then, uh, you know, check your bag in a, a year or two and you'll see some uh, pretty nice gains, I believe. So that is all we got, guys. Again, if you haven't already, hit that sub button, hit that like button, drop a comment. Let me know what other types of videos you guys want to see. I am blown away by the, uh, at least the last couple videos have been uh, quite successful and I love doing the AMP videos, uh, but I would love to uh, diversify a little bit uh, and dive into some other cryptos as well. Um, I guess upon your request, obviously, that would be ideal to kind of give you guys the content that you want. So let me know about that and otherwise we will catch you next time and uh, peace.